I'm just going to give a list of some best practices now. If you're going to go running with this, I highly recommend having this sort of mental checklist in your head so that before you start your run, you can make sure that this is all set up properly. So first things first, absolutely, you must use slow follow. Don't use fast follow. Don't use FPV. I'd recommend tilt locked, but you can also use follow. Next, only turn on or recenter the Osmo Pocket when you're standing still. If you try to do it in the middle of a run, or when you've just started running, maybe you're doing your warm-up jog or something like that, it won't be able to level itself properly because you're already moving, so you really have to stand still if you turn this on or recenter it, and that'll ensure that you get a nice level horizon. So yeah, next I would highly recommend 60 FPS. I think for running footage it gets this almost like video gamey kind of appearance, which I think it looks pretty cool. Of course you can record uh, 30p if you want as well. I haven't noticed much difference in battery usage from recording in different frame rates, but the files are definitely bigger, so bear that in mind. Uh, the next thing is to just double and triple check your settings before you start your run. Speaking from experience, there's nothing worse than doing like an hour long run and being excited to check out the footage when you get home because the lighting was great that day and then realizing that you maybe set it to the wrong mode, like in my case setting it to fast follow meant that all my footage was ruined and unusable. I would even go as far as to say record a short clip of just 10 seconds of running and then stop and play it back and make sure it looks good. I know it's really annoying to have to do that, but please test it and make sure you're happy before you start the run. Yeah, so the next thing is definitely get this arm or a similar arm so that you can mount it the other way around because you really want the screen to be facing you when you're on your runs. So yeah, get this adapter. It's cheap. It's going to save you so many headaches. Uh, for me, this was a game changer. Um, yeah, the next thing is make sure the chest strap is tight enough to eliminate any jitter or bounce. To add to this, if the chest strap isn't tight enough, then I've noticed sometimes, especially when going downhill, you can get a bit of jitter in the footage, and uh, this is what that looks like. And also try not to hit the gimbal with your hands when you're running. Um, I've done this a few times, and the results are pretty bad when it happens. Um, it can really mess up your footage for a few seconds or even if you do hit it it won't stop recording but it will jerk the gimbal and sometimes cause it to face in a bit of the wrong direction or something like that so bear that in mind um, especially if you're doing a sprint or something like that just make sure to keep your hands well clear of the gimbal and the last thing I'd like to say is that when you do get everything set up and working properly you will be amazed at how good the footage looks it's so smooth do get a tiny bit of side to side movement, but for the most part this looks smoother than anything I've seen coming out of like a GoPro. So I'm going to say yeah, I would highly recommend this as like a action cam for running at least. I'm not sure about other sports, but I don't see why it wouldn't work quite well. For me it actually serves double duty, I use it for running and for vlogging for my wildlife photography videos. If you found these 7 tips useful, please click the like button under this video. I actually made a longer video going more in depth about using the Osmo Pocket for running. So I'll put a card up in the top corner, if you click that it'll take you to that video. And please let me know down in the comments if you're using the Osmo Pocket for running or any other sports or action. I'd love to see what kind of footage you guys are getting. I also make a lot of videos about photography on this channel, so if that's something that interests you, please check them out. And thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.